Does your full size keyboard get in the way when you're gaming? Is a TKL or 60% keyboard also taking up too much space on your desk? The Red Dragon K585 might be the solution for you. Looking at the cable it comes with, it is braided. It's a braided USB-C cable, which is nice. Um, it is pretty sturdy feeling, but it is really stiff. It's hard to move and it is fairly long, so I keep it wrapped up most of the time. But a fairly nice cable and the USB-C makes it uh, really nice if you want to change the cable and you put something nicer. Plugging in the keyboard, you see it has a nice LED sweep and all the RGB comes on. It is a full RGB keyboard. You can adjust all the colors and each key is individually lit, which is nice. Um, full mechanical, uh, feels pretty nice and I do like using it most of the time, but I'll give you more of my thoughts afterwards on that. Package with the keyboard, you do get a key switch puller. You get some extra blue switches. I believe these are Automo blues, uh, obviously clicky. And you do get switch pullers because this is hot swappable, which is nice. If you do want to put different switches in this, I believe it only comes in blue and brown switches. You can put anything you want in here, as long as it's a cherry style switch. So for example, like this with a two pin. One thing you may be wondering as well, just as much as I was when I first got the keyboard, is how stable are these keys? Because they are the same uh, regular blue switches without stabilizers. Um, and there are bigger keys. This is pretty large here. This is a space button. As you hear, it's relatively stable. It's not too rattly, which I don't mind too much. All the other keys, they do feel nice. And this one, I'm not the biggest fan of. It does move around a little more than I want to. But um, it's nice that it does have a macro key here and the set here. There are multiple modes. You can set up to four and record them without the use of any program, which is nice um, for your all macro buttons. You have four on this side and you also have one over here um, as long as your space bar. You also have a magnetic removable wrist rest, which is pretty nice. It is hard plastic, but it does help ergonomically. Ergonomics are the name of the game. The large space bar is nice, especially for FPS games. And the G4 and 5 buttons are nicely placed. However, the other macro buttons are never really used and are pretty awkwardly placed. One great use case for this keyboard is that it does have a USB pass-through. So say you do have a setup for uh, work or school, you can always use this and another uh, gaming mouse of your choice um, as your gaming setup rather than having another separate keyboard or something. As in terms of price, I did pick this up for $35 Canadian or about $30 USD. Um, Looking on Amazon, it is a little bit more expensive. Uh, I see it for around $60, which I wouldn't say it is worth it for around that. But they do also offer a wireless version, so you don't need to plug it in every time, which might be more convenient for most people. I do see this keyboard being mainly meant for FPS shooters or esports games. Um, however, it can be used for other types of maybe story games. But as long as you don't need uh, most of the other keys or don't need a text in the chat, it should work for anything. The keycaps themselves are pretty nice. They're somewhat textured, and I do believe they are PBT caps. They're double shot, which lets the RGB shine through pretty well. Um, however, you can't really change the keycaps because they are weird sized, especially for the ones closer to the uh, right side of the board. They are a little bit non-standard sized, so changing keycaps might not work. In terms of build quality, the keyboard is built very solidly. It's surprisingly heavy for as small as a keyboard as it is. When talking about competition for this keyboard, there's only really one thing that comes to mind, and it's the Razer Orb Weaver or the Tartarus Pro. Um, both of those are pretty expensive, so this is a pretty good option if you're looking for something cheaper, but accomplishes mainly the same thing. 